Introduction to using the OBS software for doing screen recordings. OBS is a free open source um, software package that's available on Mac, Windows, and Linux. And we'll go ahead and start that up. And then I'm going to show some code windows, some PowerPoint presentations, and I'm going to use my iPad uh, to draw uh, equations or other kinds of notes on. And the first thing I'm going to do is connect my iPad to my computer using a wired connection. And then um, in quick time, I can show that iPad easily on the screen by going new movie recording. And then I can set here, it comes up directly because it's set to David's iPad, but you can do the camera. Often the camera is the default. So you just come to this little drop down box here and it's David's iPad 4. And then I can directly, um, I can directly uh, draw on the, draw on the screen using whatever drawing apps are of interest. Now, if we go over to PowerPoint, it's convenient to go to the Slideshow window tab and then go to Setup Slideshow. Normally, when you push the Slideshow, it'll show your entire screen. It'll fill the entire screen. We're going to go Browse by an individual window. Click OK. And then when we push uh, Presentation, it shows the presentation in a single window. Now, this is the OBS software, and it has it's really easy to use as scenes and sources. So a scene is like a different, it's what the name implies, it's a different, completely different scene. So we'll go through and just show you how to set up something. I have one scene here, and we can add windows or other sources. So I'm going to go a video capture device, and we can give it a name, iPad. And, um, then we can select what the device is, David's iPad. Whoops, David's iPad, okay. And then that shows up, and then I can scale it. And I can put it anywhere I want on this scene, which is independent of where it shows up on my desktop. So I can put this off in the corner, for example. And then maybe we'll add one more. Um, let's go ahead and add a window capture and we can make that be the PowerPoint, okay, and select from the various windows, PowerPoint slideshow, okay, and then we'll scale this so that it fits. <clears throat> and maybe change this so that it's a little bit taller, like so. And then we can go through, and that's one scene, and then we can add another scene if we like, and we can give it a name, maybe call this code. And for that, I'm going to add a window capture. Okay, that can be uh, my Jupyter notebook. And for that, we can come down here to Jupyter Lab. Okay, resize this window as well. And then um, I can switch between one scene and another. And the only thing being recorded is what's shown in the OBS software. So if I change anything on my desktop, I can move around or look at it. And it's only going to change uh, that OBS will only record what's here. So once I have it all set up the way that I want, you can then start recording. And while it's recording, you can pause that recording. Um, you can change some of the settings that are available. You can add various other kinds of devices, such as um, audio input devices, like a microphone and other kinds of things. Uh, so pretty easy to use and gives you a little bit more control over what exactly you're showing on your screen um, and uh, having other, other windows open, for example, won't necessarily show, which is convenient. This can also be convenient if you want to, while you're doing a desktop, show a video of yourself in the corner and have that always visible by adding that video to uh, some of the various scenes. 
So there is a quick um, introduction to uh, OBS.